Hi, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm back with the last bit of the big jewelry jar. And uh, I found some more earring pairs um, after the end of the last video, so I just thought I'd quickly show them to you. This pair of lever backs, really nice um, glass um, faceted beads. And then a little tiny set of, of little stars, silver tone stars. I didn't look at them to see if they, I don't think they're silver. Anyway, um, I did pair up these lovely sparkly. Oh, they're not the right ones. Oh, I guess I just saw the sides. Oh, I guess they're not a pair again. Well, so much for that. One less pair. Then these were on a card, just as fashion earrings. These are interesting. Very nice uh, molded silver tone in the uh, coffee enamel. And then these hooks with the uh, rose shapes on them. So that was a one, two, three, four, another five pair of earrings. So all together there were 49 pairs of earrings and I've counted 41 single earrings uh, left um, unless I find some more in the rest of the jar. Remember when I pulled out the um, this Virgo, sorry, first I pulled out this frame and then I pulled out the Virgo um, astrology a coin I guess. And I thought they should fit together. Well, actually they did. Um, it turns out this frame, this is a screw top, comes right off. This frame fits around, whoops. And you squeeze it together. Yeah, so the frame fitted, fitted around like that. And then you just squeeze it back together and screw it back together. So my uh, first inclination was correct. So those are a couple pieces reunited. And now, for the end of the jar, there's uh, oh, or the bowl, I should say. Here's the, there's the, this is what's left. So, there's a nice bangle with some uh, uh, twisted bangle with a dotted uh, wire. And this bangle, no marks, but it's nice cream with the uh, little bands. And here's a bangle with a little bit of, oh, it's probably plastic, with a, just a couple little dangles from it. So that's something a little different. So three more bangles. Um, what else have we got? One. So there's three more um, scarf clips. This one's interesting. I like this one. This one looks a little fancier than most. Nice uh, filigree pattern on the top there. Then there's one with a shell of a shell. And this one with a lovely glass stone in it. So there's quite a few, I think that's probably five or six um, scarf clips. I'll have to uh, try to round them up and, and let you know the number. This is a gorgeous vintage metal pin, painted metal pin. There's the Y clasp. Something looks funny with the clasp. Oh, it is, oh, it's just, oh, it's uh, that much older. Beautiful. Okay. And then probably just some dirt to clean off. Yep. And this is, uh, I'm not sure if, I guess that's glue in the center, but it looks just kind of like part of the flower. But yeah, definitely it's yellowed glue. Yeah. So. Another great vintage piece I'm quite thrilled to see is 
a heavy pendant, supposed to be faux leopard, I guess, with a, a glass rhinestone. The rhinestone's quite scratched quite a bit. There's a pendant. Here's another pendant. It's a skeletonized leaf that's been coated with metal, with silver tone metal. Um, copper bale. They're nice as they are nice pendants. This you'd have to paint that copper part. Here's a little bit of shell, perhaps, or plastic with a flower on it. There's another pendant. Or charm. One, two, three. What else have we got? Oh, here's another one of these. So now there's two of those plus the necklace with one of those on it. I have to figure out how how that's supposed to work. Um, okay, and then we have a, what have we got? A whole bunch of pins. Um, so here's a Christmas pin. This one is clay or plaster, maybe plaster. Uh, just touch that paint up there and it would be good to go. It's interesting that it's got a, just a few little rhinestones in it to bring, to give it extra shine. And then, yeah, it's a nice Christmas pin. Here's this pin. Um, carved flowers. This looks older. I wonder, wonder if that would be Bakelite. Just a second. Bakelite oxidizes, and one of the things you can do to test is use some uh, Simichrome polish. There's all kinds of different tests people use, but so supposedly if this will turn orange, it's a very pinky color, but if this is uh, If this is Bakelite, then rubbing it would make it go orange. Oh, it starts doing a little bit there. I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly or not. I mean, I know that, um, yeah, I think this is, because look at how it's going orange. I think this might be the very first piece of uh, Bakelite I've ever found. It's held in there with... Um, uh, the little metal um, prongs and Bakelite isn't they, they mold it they don't carve it so uh, this would have been pressed into a mold and it looks like that's what it actually looks like so um, yeah, the fact that that's turning that orangey color. I'll have to try another, another test, which is to put it under hot water and see if it smells like formaldehyde. But um, I think that might be just what I think it is. Bakelite. I've never um, found anything that I thought looked worth testing, but that, yeah. The fact that it's going that orangey color. Yay! Another bonus vintage piece. Very vintage piece. Um, so you never know what you're going to get in the jewelry jar. Here's a pin with a lovely pearl. And uh, an excellent shape. I don't have a pin like that, but I think I'll probably pass that on. Here's... A rhinestone cat pin. It's got a green thing on its tail. And a green one over there. That's odd. wonder if somebody replaced those. Doesn't make sense. But 
All right, I'll try to clean it and see what happens. No marks. That's a cute little cat pin. I'm sure somebody will appreciate that. This is a lovely pin. I think it's meant to imitate what Etruscan style, but no maker's mark. I have no idea the E to this. The pin is slightly long though. I think I'm going to keep that for my collection. I like that. There's this. Um, oh, it's not a pin. It's a barrette. Okay, a hair barrette. This is a fan shape. And it's a pin. I have a couple um, of this style of pin. Um... But they're not, they're bar shaped. So that's quite nice. Here's another pin, a rose pin. Oh, there is a, maybe I better do it this way, might be. Jerry's. Okay, so there's a Jerry's rose pin. It's a little damage on some of the edges and there's something missing you can see there's from the side here there's a a little platform and there was something soldered or glued there I don't know what that would be I'll see if I can find out online find out what it's missing I haven't found anything but maybe in the bot maybe in this bottom of the jar there's something that would fit in there so that needs repair here's a necklace good and heavy these are these are very cold so these must be glass beads they're very nice I love the faceting on them and I love the heavy chain they kind of they suit each other there's no maker's mark there's a nice little nice little necklace never seen one like that before um, what else have we got here all kinds of little bits what's this Oh, are those rhinestones or are they just, uh, just, oh, there's a few little rhinestones. One in the, the bell ringer and a few up here and there just to give it sparkle. Nice. Okay, so there's a nice pin, another Christmas pin. No maker's mark, but very well, very well put together. Nice weight. I like the details in it. Um, what else have we got? Oh, this is a, a leather ring. Is it adjustable? No. It's missing something. I suppose you could put a, some kind of a stone or pearl or something in there. So there's another ring. Here's a Canada Post. Um, can we get it to focus? This is our post office, Canada, or postal service, Canada Post. Uh, tie tack or lapel pin. And a little bit of everything in here. There's some more of these things. How many of them are there? One, two. So these are these these are these things from Marvel. One, two, and that looks like Thor and Captain America, and I don't know, and I don't know. So there's now five of these, so I'll have to find out uh, if they're collectible or if there's any value to them. And what have we got here? There's a little, like a little charm. Oh, they're both the same. I wonder if they used to be earrings. Dangles on an earring. Here's a little dog lover charm. What's this? Oh, look how cute this is. 
The little blue car. Wish I had a red one. I, used to, I wish I had red rhinestones. I used to have a red, little, little red car. But that's cute. I think I might keep that just because it's so cute. <laughs> like I need it. Okay, so this is a letter A. But it's got, it looks like an earring back, right? Well, that's interesting. Are those, were those supposed to go together? Like there's no, nothing on this that, attaches it to anything. I suppose somebody could have used the earring to attach it to a collar or whatever. If you've ever seen this kind of thing, let me know. I'll have to figure out what to do with those. Here's another little charm. Well, they do, I bet these, maybe these are just a group of charms because they've kind of got the same design, the same style with all the little dots on it. Little Dragonfly. There you are. Here's a, a little flat, like an eternity ring with discolored rhinestones, but it looks like somebody really loved it because the cop you can see the all the copper on the interior. It was well worn. It's kind of cute. Fits me, seven and a half. Um, is that like body jewelry? Oh yeah, it does. That that end screws off. Okay. Um, there's another pendant. This looks like it's um, <sighs> coconut shell. That's kind of cute. Uh, a gold tone. No, they don't go together. I don't know what that's for. Piece of jewelry. There. Oh, let's see. This is kind of cute. It's backwards. It's hearts. A heart chain. What would you, what you would call a heart? A book a book chain when they when they fold over like that. And. A long extension it's got a little hook it's too short for a necklace it's too long for a bracelet I wonder if it's supposed to be a an anklet interesting certainly is long enough to be I mean it's an anklet it's Way too long for a bracelet, but it, I would like it better as a bracelet, I think. That looks, you know, sort of 50s-ish. Put it with the vintage stuff. What else have we got here? Oh, this is kind of cute. It's just plastic. Little heart with a plastic rhinestone. Um. Oh! It's another winter pin, but it's it's a snowman with a a big broom. Oh, that says something in there, I think. Let's zoom in and let maybe turn around. What do we think it says? Looks like friends. Copyright F R. Yeah, copyright friends. Hmm. I'll have to see what I can find out about that. I like rhinestone pins for winter. Peacock feather enameled metal. Wonder if that 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 would be pretty striking if it was from a pair of earrings. Like if it was if as a pair of earrings. Um it can certainly be repurposed. All these little pendant kind of things. What else have we got? I thought this was maybe a clown. <laughs> but 
but it's a fish. I thought I have a clown that kind of looks like this, like this shape on the head. It's kind of weird. Um, the clown pin. It's quite light. It's kind of subtle colors. Um, no markings. There was a time where I had a bunch of fish jewelry pins and stuff because we uh, taught in uh, HR what was called the fish philosophy. The Seattle Fish Company came up with a philosophy of, of to energize their staff and improve retention and so on. And uh, it was very uh, useful as a way of um, thinking differently about staff. And about uh, get them thinking individually about their own jobs. Anyway, I digress. This is a cute little pin, lovely little rhinestone pin. A square. I like that fact that it's a square or a diamond. I guess you could put it up as well. So another vintage piece for me. Yay, yay, yay. Um, what is this? Okay, so there's, I don't know why there's a ring there, um, but the other, I mean, it's three hearts, two with rhinestones, and this one's got some glue or something on it, and, you know, unless this one's supposed to hang like that, upside down, which I think is kind of weird, I think it looks better this way, so, hmm. Well, put it in the pendant pile here. And oh, look at this cute little rocking horse. It says uh, Ohio. Is the rocking horse uh, special to Ohio in some way? It's a cute pin, a little lapel pin. Here is a little cross, sort of Celtic. Celtic markings, whoops. And is it the same on both sides? See if I can get it to focus one side. Yeah. So another little pendanty thing. Here's a, oh, a little adjustable ring, two hearts. You just squish to size. It's kind of cute. What does it say inside? China. Um, here's another little pendant. It's kind of like, it's silver, but there was a, the, the necklace we found like this was gold tone. Okay. Well, lots of little bits and pieces. Ouch. Oh, this is interesting. Feels like a coal, like a little stone. Oh, what does it say on the back here? Let me uh, open up the pin and then we'll see if we can get it to focus. Gosh, let's zoom in. Mizpa. Oh, I've found Mizpa pieces before. W B S. What is that? Just having a hard time. S L A S Silato? Silalto? Oh, maybe it's oh silver plated. W B S S I L for silver and then P L T D for plated. Oh, wow. Then this is going to have some age to it. Oh, I can't wait to test this and uh, and see uh, what I find. It is an old clasp. I wonder what significance to the design. There's got to be something. I mean, it kind of looks like sheaves of wheat that are tied or hair that's tied. Hmm. 
Wow. All these cool things. Oh, that's why I like jewelry jars. This is gold. Let's uh, focus back. Right back. So this is some kind of a stone. Quartz? I have no idea. Very simply faceted. Simple wire bail, and then someone's added a ring. So another pendant. Nice. Another ring. My luck with silver today, this uh, jar has been the, well, I think that that Mizpah piece will probably be silver plated as it says. Um, it's got no markings. And it's got a cracked stone or whatever that is, if that was a piece. Oh, it's really cracked. Big chunk out of it right there. Oh, that's too bad. Well, we'll test it and anyway, see if we can find something new to put in there. A little Canada flag pin. Lapel pin. That's there. This is a stretchy bracelet. Let's a little <laughs> there that it's a little worse for wear this one uh, bead cap is all bent because it's pulled apart there's another one that's all bent okay they could be glass beads they've got some weight to them so i'll have to uh, check this out a little better see about Perhaps fixing the bead caps. A lot of repair stuff in this bag, in this uh, bowl. Well, there's a cute little ring with uh, garnet-colored stones. Interesting setting. I don't know if wonder if it's supposed to be like a, you know, a mother's ring where you could put different colored rhinestones in it. Is it adjustable? Yeah. So it's. What does it say here? Michelle Lynn. And say something else on the other side. Mm, no. Oh, okay. So Michelle Lynn. That's a cute little ring. Oh, come on. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah. Cute little ring. Um, and it fits me. That's always a bonus. That's, this is a piece of chain broken off of something from oh, from Joe Fresh. Okay, one of our grocery stores lines of uh, jewelry. Oh, another one of these guys I missed with a, like a lightning bolt on it. So that means there's a set of six of those. Here's a little best maybe there was like a best friends pair there's a flower this one just says best on the chain oh <laughs> another little lapel pin look at this it's a cat with its uh mouth open i wondered if you if you could hang something from that or if there was at one point something hanging from there that's different Another pin. Here's, uh, I don't know, it looks like it should be part of an earring. Enameled. Make a cute, cute little pendant. Um, oh. Okay, so it's like a dove. Another little pendant. A uh, piece of shell or plastic. 
probably shell with the different colors. Are we getting to the end here? Yeah, and then... Oh, this piece that I... Oh, this there's that. Here's a, a, a jump ring, a rhinestone. I better say that. I better say that. Here's another little charm or pendant. It's kind of gold tone with an interesting design on each side. And then here's our last piece. I think I'll just move these down a little bit. And it's a, a fair trade style necklace. Little uh, chips of glass and little, it's so just a hook, a hook and loop closure. These sell for about $10 as fundraisers for um, the people who make them. So that's quite pretty. So thanks for joining me for this huge jewelry bowl. You know, here's this vintage uh, bracelet, this yellow bracelet, these pins, the Bakelite, this yellow flower pin, this um, vintage plastic, all the rhinestones, the little car, the vintage square pin, the, the round pin, this uh, odd looking little bear, or maybe it's a red panda. Um, I like this modern pin. I like this uh, anklet with the all the hearts. I think I'll probably keep this uh, um, scarf clip because I like it, and I don't have any silver scarf clips. The you know all the rhinestone earrings, the snowflake earrings, and then these three um, Tresca necklaces that I'll have to investigate a little bit more. So many fun things, great things for to donate out, to uh, put in the kids' jewelry stuff, to keep, um, and then lots and lots to repurpose. I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos. I hope you like and subscribe, invite your friends. Soon be time to have a giveaway. I'm uh, approaching 100 subscribers, um, which is a great delight for me. So. Take care, have a wonderful day, and goodbye from Pat Hood at Passions and Pastimes.